If you guys don't even want to worry about designing it or anything, you want to jump straight to the banner, I uploaded it on Photopea's website. It'll be in the description as well. So once you're here, click it and click the link. Then it should take you to the finished product and you can just adjust the text as you desire. So the first thing you want to do is go to photopea.com or if you have it downloaded, just open it up. Then you're going to want to go to new project. For the size we're going with 1865 by 108 which is such a weird number i don't really know why that is it's like the skinniest banner of all time it's kind of hard to work with and go ahead and name your project 5m banner i'm trying to build good habits for you guys okay then from here click create so the very first thing we're going to do is get our background and we're going to use a free plugin called free pick so go up to window plugins search up free and it should be free pick right here click it and click install click this x and it should be over here on the right side of your screen here it is click on it and i'm gonna search up an image so i ended up searching up gta because i figured it'd bring me up like some vice city style backgrounds because i'm going for like an 80s theme on this one and this is the background that i use right here so go ahead and click on that and it should load it into your project there's tons of other options that are really good so just scroll through them if you have to from here we're just going to grab one of these boxes and drag it all the way to the left until it locks with this side and do the same for the right side once it locks you're good then just drag it up i'm gonna go to about here don't worry the quality isn't the best but we're gonna blur it to make it look not noticeable go up to filter blur and gaussian blur turn it down just a little bit i'm gonna go to 2.3 and click ok now let's start doing our text get your text tool on the left side of your screen and click anywhere on your canvas then go ahead and type in your name of the server so i'm gonna go with vice city then click this check mark and hit Control, Alt, and T. Grab one of these boxes and scale it up. And center it until it snaps like this. Now we need a good font because this font is not doing it. So go ahead and double click on your text to highlight all of it. And go up here to the top left. I discovered this new font called Antonio, I believe. Yeah, Antonio. Something about it is pretty nice. We'll use that later in the tutorial. But for now, we're going to go with Anton for this one. Click it and click this check mark. Then we're going to have to recenter it. Okay, so now let's add a really nice glow to our text. So double click your text on the right, go to color overlay and change the color to white. Then click OK and go to inner glow. From here, change the blend mode to linear light, change the color to white, change the spread to 10 and 2 for the size. But honestly, guys, this does not have to be exact. You can just adjust the sliders until it looks good you don't have to be as exact i'm just telling you what i'm using and you can tweak it yourself i'm gonna change the source to center and that's all there is for inner glow so now let's go to outer glow check that box and let's go in the menu change the blend mode to linear light once more change the color to whatever you want i'm gonna go with like a blue for now click ok opacity and go on to 60 for this one spread again 10 size 20 everything else you can leave the same and finally we need the drop shadow so click on the drop shadow change the blend mode to linear burn where is it oh here it is okay linear burn opacity 22 distance 4 spread 0 and size 6 now that is all you need for the text okay pretty simple just outer glow that's all good. Okay, now you can click OK. Now we are going to duplicate this text layer and you'll see why in just a second. So hit Control J on your keyboard when your text is selected and you'll see it made a copy over here on the right. Then just double click on the text and remove vice. Okay, and leave it like this and then double click on city and delete that. All right, so now you just have a bunch of bunched up text. So now double click again until city is selected and spacebar until it's right next to it okay then you click that check mark now i'm going to hit control and click on both of them to select both of those layers and now i'm just going to recenter it once more so now it's actually two layers but it looks like one so double click on the city text and change the color to something else or actually i'm going to change the vice to something else i'm going to change it to a uh, purple the outer glow or a pink i should say like this okay so now it kind of offsets each other and it stands out a whole lot more i figured i would do pink because the left side is pink 
and I did blue because the right side is blue. It's simple details like this that really make a design stand out. So at this point, if you're done with your text and you just want it to be one layer, just hit control, select both of them and right click on them, then convert it to a smart object. Then it's one layer and you don't have to worry about it again. But the only way to access this menu is by double clicking inside of it and then editing it individually here. Okay, so now we need some more text to fill in the empty spaces over here. So go ahead and grab your text once more and click anywhere on the canvas. I'm going to type in discord.gg slash blank. Well, actually, I could use my discord, but I'm not going through all that. If you guys want to join the Discord, go in the description, go to my website, and click on the Discord server and join. Okay, so we have our text here, right? It's a little big, and it looks almost like this. So we don't want that. We want this to stand out less. So double click on it. Change the font to Antonio, like we talked about before. And let's go ahead and hit Control Alt T again and shrink it down. Now you might be like, how do I center this? within this side right because this is different than the center of everything and i was wondering this myself and i found something so useful that i wish i knew before i never knew this right up here there's a distances button check that box and you can see the distances of everything so it's 225 pixels away from this side right and then if you highlight this it's 182 pixels away from it so what i do is i use my arrow keys and move left right until both of these numbers are the same so you can see here, they're one off, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because it's so close, no one's going to ever notice. But if you could, it would be 203 and 203, right? Then you would know it's centered over here. Same thing with this, up and down, 30 and 29, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Okay, once you're done, you can uncheck distances. Now, I recommend double clicking on this layer right here inside of this uh, smart object, specifically right here. Double click on it and it should take you here. Then double click on either one and click define new. Then the style will be saved permanently in your styles. I already have a bunch of glowing ones, so I don't have to worry about it, but yours should pop up somewhere. Once you have that saved, go back to your project, double click on your discord text layer and go here and it should be here. Then you can just apply it. So I'm going to find a pink one, right? like this okay so it saves you a whole lot of time you don't have to figure out all the settings again it's super easy okay click okay we're done with this text now hit Control j to duplicate this text layer and move it to the right side then change it to something else so i just put serious role play because i have no idea what else to put okay so now we're going to do the distance thing again just to figure out how to center this thing okay so 233 194 214 213 all right good enough we're done with those. Uncheck that. Now we need to change the color to blue. I'll switch it to my blue one. Okay. And now we're getting pretty close to being done. It's looking really nice. I hope you guys are following along just fine. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments and I will gladly answer. At this point, now is all just touch up stuff. So go down to the bottom right and click on new layer. A new layer will pop up, then go to your brush tool on the left side of your screen or click B on your keyboard. Then make sure this top box here is actually black and click OK. Now to adjust the brush, hold Alt and right click and drag up to make it softer, down to make it harder, like this, right to make it bigger and left to make it smaller. Then once you're done, go ahead and draw on like curtains almost like this and then go up to opacity and turn it down. I'm going to go with about 35%. It just kind of brings your eyes into the center of the image. You know, it kind of keeps your attention away from the edges. It really makes you focus on the text. Then we're going to add some light spots. So do the same thing. Add a new layer. This time, change the brush color to white. Click OK. And just drop a little, a little, uh, what do I say? A little spotlight, right? Above your text. Maybe make it a little bigger like this both sides okay i think it's really cool it, it kind of again it brings attention to the text and i like that a lot so that's done and we are one step away from victory so now what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to new adjustment layer guys i recommend you do this every time you have a project especially if it looks a little bit washed out like mine and click on curves all you want to do is drag down on this line right here. 
Now look at that difference. Washed out, not washed out, and it looks so good. I love this. And would you believe me if I told you we're all done? That's it. That's the whole thing. Super easy and it looks amazing. And you guys can even make this for servers and possibly make money from it. Turn this into a business. I want you guys to succeed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to file export as and either PNG or JPEG, depending on what you want. I'm going to go with JPEG. PNG is typically a bigger file, but higher quality. Then click save. Before you go, don't forget to check out my website for tons of bonus content like my exclusive courses, graphics packs, and socials like my Discord server. If you want to level up your designs even faster, consider joining the Canva Creates channel membership. You'll get access to a folder packed with hundreds of effects, copyright free music, and more to take your content to the next level. Hit that join button or check the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep creating.